welcome back to more Space Engineers Programming with your host, Pilot Error 42 Today, we're going to be doing a relative quickie now that they finally fixed the storage bug. Now, what do I mean by storage? I don't, I don't mean cargo containers. I don't mean those things way off in the distance. I mean in here, the variable storage. Notice it's not declared anywhere. I, trust me, it's there's no string storage. Uh, it's built in. Every program has that global variable named storage. Uh, it's supposed to act as a uh, like a location for persistent storage between game saves. So the data here is going to persist even if I exit and come back into the game. Um, so what does this script do? Um, this uses my debugger version 2. Um, so that's what uh, from here down is and that line and that line. So the only thing it does is add the text, some text to what's already in storage and then outputs that. So check code, okay, remember an exit, let's run it. One, two, three, four. So we have four instances of some text. So now, uh, storage, proof of concept, let's run it again. We should have five. One, two, three, four, five. See? Um, it added on to what was already in there. So now, if I were to save and exit, and load the world, it should be there. And spoiler alert, it's going to be there. So we're loading. I will be back with you when we load back up. Of course, of course, the instant I stopped the recording, it loaded back up. Anywho, so here we are back here. We have one, two, three, four, five of these. So what happens if we run it? It should give us six. What does it do? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hooray! So that works. So what does that mean? Um, that means we can store anything and everything that we want. But we only have that single string variable. Uh, so in order to save more than just one thing, we have to do a little bit of magic. We have to do uh, something called serialization and deserialization. Uh, seri serialization is the process of converting the state of an object into a form that can be persisted or otherwise transported. So here's a, an example. So we have two variables, some data and more data. Some data is a, an integer. Really, it doesn't matter what I put this as, as long as it's not a string. And here is a string. I just want to give an example of your converting something that's not a string. Um, so here we have our deserialize and our serialize. And the serialize is going to save the in all of our uh, local variables into our storage. Um, in this case, it's some data and more data. and um, we're also assuming that more data is never going to hold the character uh, it's a backslash n which is the new line character which is a an enter um, it's it's one of these um, so because we know that more data is never going to have one we can actually format the storage string to be this integer a new line this string a new line. So when we, and it's very important to know what, uh, know how you're serializing it. Um, because you essentially have to do the opposite when you deserialize it. So when we deserialize it, we check to see if we need to be deserialized, and that's what that first run is. Um, and then we check to see if we have anything to deserialize. And if we do, we take this. We get the we get it. Um, we use get line, which is a a simple 
uh, it just uh, splits it around the character new line. So every time it sees a new line, it'll give one more item in the, in the array. And then it picks out the specific one that we asked for, line 0 through number of lines minus 1. Um, so here we have, we're getting the very first line, and here we're getting the second line. It's an index. So it uh, starts at 0 and not at 1. Um, so here we get the line, and then we convert it to an integer here. And we store it in the sum data. And then the next line is the more data. And then we're going to say we deserialized. And that's it. That's that's it. So with what this what this program will do is um, do just some random number in some data and some random number into more data. Uh, more data is a string though, so you're casting it to a string with this little guy right here. We could also just put in parentheses ooh in parentheses string, and that will do it as well. Um, so let's uh, check code. Remember an exit. Let's see what happens when we run it. Okay. So when we run it, it got through the deserialization. The initial data, which was what was saved in it already, um, was 1924, etc. And then we changed the data. So then we'll run it again. And what we should see happen is that this text here, this sum data, equals 9017346 etc should move up one line so let's do that does it happen 9017 blah 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 and if you notice it uh, actually didn't deserialize it that's because it's still saved in there so now our our new key is 20688202278 so let's save it uh, yeah, double save all the way. Oh no, I may have frozen. Okay, I'll be back when I get it back loaded. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. My game actually froze up when I finished when it finished saving it. But anywho, so we're back in, and we have that line of text. And so, if you remember from two seconds ago, it should. This second line should move up to the first line, and it should say deserialized. Ta-da! So there we go. There's a quick example of how to use the now correctly fixed and therefore useful uh, storage, the built-in storage variable. Um, I will put the uh, this serialization example script that I was just running uh, up on the workshop, um, but. This has been Pilot Error 42. Uh, it's been nice having you. Until next time, see ya!